If you're trying to get started making videos, but you don't know where to begin, I have a couple tips that I think you should keep in mind. Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Joe. I'm a content creator and someone who's been making videos for a very long time. Long story short, I help people make videos, and I've learned a couple things over the course of a couple years of doing this that I think would be really useful for someone who's just starting out. This is going to be the first in a series of videos that I do that'll help you get production ready and help you start the process of making your own videos. One of the most frequent questions that I'm asked, what do I do first? Do I buy equipment? Do I buy camera stuff? Do I buy lights? Do I have to buy a microphone? Is there a free way of doing this? Is there a cheap way of doing this? How can my videos get views? How could I be seen by the target market? How do I make videos? Step one, research your ideas. One of the first things I recommend that people do isn't go out and buy a camera. The first thing I recommend for new clients who are getting just getting into video is research your ideas. There are a lot of video-based platforms out there from YouTube to Facebook to LinkedIn to Instagram. Knowing the platform that you put the, your videos on is going to be one of the most important steps you can take in the process of making videos, putting them out there, and getting them seen by the right people. Go on YouTube and research videos of education, people teaching. What concepts are people most likely to search? What are the titles and the thumbnails that people are using to get views on their video? Once you've done this and you've started to notice the similarities in a lot of these videos, write them down. See what does well, what doesn't do well, and then put your own individual spin on that. The best way to play the game is to know the rules of the game, and then knowing when to break them. Step two, ask smart questions. Asking smart questions is a video strategy that you're already familiar with, even if you don't realize it. When you go to YouTube and you type in the types of videos that you like to watch, what do you type in? The first 10 things to drop down in your suggestions, those are potential videos. Those are categories that people are searching the most. That is a guaranteed way to get traction on your videos and start getting views on your videos. There's a YouTube channel called Think Media that did a very good video about asking smart questions. I'll link it below and you can check it out for yourself. They do a much better job explaining it than I do. It's just the truth. Step three, how repeatable is your format? The next step of things is to figure out how can I keep this as simple as I can. If you want your content to be repeatable, if you want to make videos on a regular basis, work it into your routine, to have it be something that is a part of your life, you have to make sure that you can do it again and again and again. You could spend thousands of dollars on a good video, a solid video, but if you can't repeat that process over and over and over again, then you're kind of wasting your money. No matter which platform you plan on putting your videos, they all reward consistency. But if you can't maintain that consistency, the platform isn't going to reward that. You wanna make sure that the videos you're making are videos that you can make over and over and over again so that you're generating enough of a buzz to justify the continuous development of these videos. Step number four, or maybe step number 3.5, depending on how you think of it. Is the format fun? Now, even if the format is repeatable and something that you can potentially do over and over and over again, if you don't enjoy it, then that's going to show through. People can always tell when you're not having a good time creating a video. The enthusiasm isn't there. The sense of, this is something that I believe, this is value that I want to give to people isn't there. If you don't enjoy making the content, if you don't enjoy making videos, people are gonna see that and they're gonna tune out. If you don't enjoy it, there's no point in doing any of it. Step number five, defeating fear. Making videos is not easy. People say it is, but it's really not. It's something that takes practice, just like any other skill set. Talking in front of people, talking in front of a camera is something that you get better at with time. It is something that I am not particularly good at. This is not something that I would normally do. I am much more <laughs> patient and comfortable behind a camera. Being in front of a camera is something that is new to me and is something that I wanna get better at, which is why I'm making this video now, to try and defeat the fear of not, oh, I don't know what equipment I should get. Oh, I don't have the time to make these videos on a regular basis. I don't have the time to film them and then edit them after. What it really comes down to and what I'm really afraid of is just this, just 
force yourself to do it, understand that the first couple of videos you're going to make aren't, aren't going to be any good. You're going to look back at those videos and you are going to hate them and want to delete them, but you shouldn't. The more time you invest in it and the more often you defeat the fear of putting yourself out there. That's one of the most important things that I can teach you as someone who makes videos for other people and is trying to make videos for himself. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope these tips were useful to you. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to learn. Like I said, this is going to be the first video in a series of videos I do that walk people through the step-by-step -step process that I've gone through in order to make videos for myself. Hopefully I can help you, you with that. So that's gonna be it for me, and I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.